Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to make a, a video updating you guys on the status of my B12 deficiency. And so I went into the doctor today and I got prescription for doing my own B12 injections. And this is the little container that has the actual B12 in it. And so I'll be doing an injection every day for the next week and then after that I'll be doing it like once or twice a week uh, I also I also got uh, these syringes they are three milliliter syringes um, pretty standard I guess then I just got a bunch of needles um, but before I got, so today I got another injection, and before I got that, I went and got another blood test. And if you can see on my arm, yeah, there's where I got my blood pulled. So I got, the blood test that I got today is going to be, going to be testing my B12, folate, homocysteine, uh, my TSH, um, all my thyroid stuff. Uh, my lipids, so my cholesterol and triglycerides, and I wanted to get my glucose checked again because last time I got it checked, it was like 107, which is kind of high, but I ate like four bananas be right before I got that test, and I'd be eating more fat then, so my theory is that it should be lower now, um, especially after fasting for 12 hours. Um, and also being tested in the blood test is MTHFR, which is a potential uh, mutation of a gene. Uh, so the doctor wanted to check that out. Uh, could be involved in, in B12. Um, and he also wanted to check my blood type because uh, he comes from the thinking that that could influence my ability to thrive on a plant-based diet. And I don't agree with it, but we'll see what it is. And so, yeah, so I haven't been supplementing the whole last week, uh, which probably wasn't long enough to get my B12 levels back to what they would be without supplementing. So I'm assuming that my B12 levels will be probably, probably in a normal range. Um, but yeah, they just wanted to get it checked out again. And so now I'm getting on injections, which is going to be awesome. Um, but also, a re the reason why I'm getting my TSH uh, checked again is because when I got it checked last, it was about a month ago, I got my blood pulled. And my TSH was like 5.3, which is really high. So that's a sign of hypothyroidism for sure. And so I want to get it checked again. And I've definitely noticed signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism, like uh, cold hands and feet, and uh, fatigue, which could be B12 and hypothyroidism at the same time. Um, what else? Kind of a little bit more dry skin, um, especially like on my face. And yeah, so they're gonna get my. I'm getting my TSH levels checked and so we're gonna see where that's at and then I'll kind of update you guys from there uh, I want to since I probably for sure have hypothyroidism then I want to kind of do updates and track progress to see um, to show you guys my recovery because I'm not gonna take any medications because I don't want to uh, and I've seen a lot of people um, fix their thyroid naturally, so I'm not too worried about it. And I'm pretty sure I've had thyroid issues before. Um, and so they can come and go. Um, but right now, I guess my thyroid's pretty underperforming. And it just it makes sense with all the things that have been going on in the last like six months. A lot of stress, uh, a lot of not as much physical activity at least to the point where I um, would like and yeah um, also uh, I got 
my vitamin D checked a couple weeks ago and it was really low too. It was like 24.5, which is really low. And so I'm going to be supplementing with that too. So hopefully that helps my thyroid and just overall um, energy levels and health. So just want to make this video to update you guys and keep you guys in the loop and basically to kind of help me wrap my head around everything that's happening to me and yeah so I just kind of wanted to log it and I'll check in later peace my nipple itches oh yeah another weird symptom <laughs> another that reminds me another weird symptom that I've had besides like cold hands and, and feet, is my, le <laughs> is my left nipple has been like sore. And when I look at, I'm not gonna show you guys, cause I'm not trying to put my nipples on the internet, but, <laughs> but like my right nipple is like normal color and then my left nipple is like kind of harder. It's like, my left nipple is in the winter time in the in like Antarctica, but my right nipple is in like Hawaii on a summer break, and it's really weird. <laughs> and so that's just another symptom. But yeah, I'll do another update soon. Peace. Oh, and if any of you guys have gone through any of this, then let me know what your guys' experience has been, um, how you how you dealt with the things that you're dealing with, especially like hypothyroidism. Um, like did you eat more raw or did you start eating more like iodine rich foods? Um, I've been doing, I've been eating more iodine like seafood. So iodine rich uh, seafoods and yeah, that's pretty much all I've been doing differently um, and eating less fat um, just for my own sake but yeah just let me guys know what you guys have experienced and if anything has helped so peace again <sighs> hmm. oh i'm cleaning <laughs>